As I read about Louis Wayne and his life story, the thing that struck me was that I suppose my appreciation of him was cumulative. So the more that I found out about him and the more nuance I was able to gain in understanding his relationship with Emily or you know his familial relationships, the more I felt like I was able to piece together, uh, I guess, some kind of understanding of him. And I think for me, first and foremost, I wanted this to be a film about Louis Wayne, the human being, almost more than Louis Wayne as a historical figure. So, you know, we do cover his career and, you know, the fact that he was the person who ostensibly changed the way that people in the UK see cats forever. You know, he's the reason some people would argue why we even have cats as pets. Um, but I really wanted to understand his, I suppose, like, try to imagine what it felt like to be him, uh, being that person in that time, in those situations, uh, and to tell his story as empathetically as possible. So I think it's trying to help the audience today to connect with someone who himself was in search of some kind of connection uh, with the world, if that makes sense. Ta-da! Oh, Louis. <laughs> when did you do all this? I think as soon as I started talking with Benedict about this project, I really felt like we were absolutely on the same page and we shared the same love, I suppose you could call it, for Louis Wayne. Um, and that was really kind of immediately motivating and was the beginning of a really wonderful collaboration. And also, you know, we worked a bit on how does Louis Wayne move? How does he move at different times of his life when he's different ages? And I was always blown away with how gracefully Benedict was able to, you know, transform from a younger man into a much, much older man, sometimes even during the course of a, a day's filming. Um, and all of that preparation, I think, meant that when we were on set, he was able to be really instinctive uh, and to kind of find that flow um, with relative ease, it seemed to me. Morning. Morning. At the heart of this film is the relationship between Louis and Emily, played by Claire Foy. And I think I knew that with Emily, we needed to cast somebody who, first of all, would be able to carry the lighter aspects and to bring the charm and charisma that was uh, w within the character, but also absolutely to land the more dramatic scenes and to make a really lasting impact uh, within the time that she had. And as soon as I started uh, talking to Claire uh, initially over the phone about this project, I really felt like almost like I was talking with Emily uh, on the phone. And then... Um, we started to rehearse the piece and I was immediately struck by how just natural uh, it felt uh, between Benedict and Claire. They had this really easy, beautiful chemistry. It was delightful, surprising and rewarding on a daily basis. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care what people think. <laughs> You always have in a schedule, I think, the scenes that you kind of have a red marker around it and you know that it's coming and you've got to nail it. And I think one of those scenes for us was a scene in the latter part of the movie where Louis Wayne, we've established, had recurring nightmares as a child um, of kind of drowning in a sea full of sinking, a stormy sea full of sinking ships. And I always felt like that was really evocative of kind of an underlying turmoil within the character um, and so we wanted to on his journey from New York after a really quite traumatic time in America by the way on his return to England to kind of manifest all of those uh, underlying anxieties and it's kind of um, the point in the film where the grief that he's suppressed uh, after losing his wife is really starting to catch up with him and so we had to sort of break this scene down some of it was shot, um, you know, in a, in a semi-dry studio uh, where the, we could fill up, we could, f we could bring in a certain amount of water, but only to sort of about ankle height. Um, and so again, this was a scene that we had to very meticulously storyboard uh, and prep for. And there were other elements which were shot, you know, at a water tank where they had to rig um, 
rig the set uh, above the water and the way that we created the illusion of the water coming up was to slowly lower the, the set into the water and you know one of the things that uh, I have to say about Benedict is, this, is that he's you know absolutely fearless and he's so game um, and of course you know we had to make sure that this was done in a completely safe way but you know that really is him underwater and he really is performing you know with the adrenaline of being in a sinking set we really wanted to share in this hallucination this delusion if you like with louis so we needed it to feel as real as possible and like we were really living through it so that then when he's woken up out of his reverie we have also been on that course with him and can feel the same sense of embarrassment i suppose of being woken up out of something that felt so sort of tangible and immediate um so yeah, it was a really fun scene to shoot, but there was definitely some challenges involved. I guess I hope that uh, the audience can in some way find a connection or some sense of understanding for this human being who really lived um, in the same way that I guess Louis Wayne himself was I think in some way looking for a connection with the people around him and with the world around him and I I guess that sometimes is the power of uh, what movies can do is that you can feel connected with the people around you and that's what I hope is that um, they feel connected with the spirit of Louis Wayne. <laughs>